with malice toward none, with charity for all, commemorates President Abraham Lincoln in this cardboard diorama replicating the White House and serving as a stage for the story. The Civil War, with inevitable victory of the North, was near its end. In his second inaugural address, Lincoln spoke with a profound humility, appealing to all people for peace and civility. With malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle, and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. First Lady Michelle Obama inspired the South facade when at the Democratic Convention in 2016 she said, I wake up every morning in a house that was built by slaves. Abigail Adams, wife of President John Adams, wrote a letter with her direct observations of the slaves working on the White House land. During the Civil War, escaped slaves served as Union soldiers. The former slaves Sojourner Truth and Frederick Douglass overcame impossible odds to make their distinguished places in history. The main stage, or North Facade, tells the story of President Lincoln in relationship to the Civil War. On November 19, 1863, when Lincoln stood on the bloodiest battlefield of the Civil War, he delivered the Gettysburg Address. His words still speak to us as he emphasizes the principles of human equality espoused in our Declaration of Independence. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. He closes, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. This cornerstone exhibit in the Strange Fates of Lincoln, a portable museum, was created by artist Susan Berku. First, there is the unusual point of view about the bizarre yet true events that surround Abraham Lincoln and his family. Then, there is the unusual medium, a collection of tabletop dioramas that Susan constructed using recycled cardboard, detailed with her drawings and paintings. <laughs>